It's gone wrong. Yell two times speed on somebody listening to this, it'd be like, blah, 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 scarcasm. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Scar. This is Scarcasm. I'm in your ear holes. What's up, ladies? What's up? Yeah, he just ruined it. Um, so, um, I, uh, so we, we are back today to talk about some stuff. And man, I got some stuff. Let me tell you, I played a video game. That was not the division and was not the division two and was not two point hospital. I played a, a separate video game from beginning to end with my child. And yeah, we'll get, we'll get to that later because we, we should talk about games last. Oh, um, good. okay. So I'm going to tell you all something. It's rough out here for your boy. I, I didn't realize. Um, you know, COVID kind of fucked everything up. Um, but the thing that COVID is fucking up for me right now is, do you know how hard it is to find an apartment when don't nobody want to let you in the office? Like you can't get no questions answered. They not, they, they not answering the damn phones. They're not calling you back. They are just using this as an excuse not to fuck with people. And I'm like, yo, I'm trying to look for an apartment. Y'all have apartments. Why the fuck will somebody call me back or whatever? Like this shit is getting on my nerves. And like, and then one, one time I just said, these motherfuckers not answering the phone. They are supposed to be in the office. It's like, it's like mid afternoon. Like it, they should be there. So I went to a place. I went to a place, got all the way to the door. They got the blinds up, like, like they not fucking with nobody. The door is locked and I can hear people talking in the background and they seem like they're having a grand fucking time. And I'm just like, yo, I just want to get some information about your fucking apartment, people. Like that's all I want. That's all, that's all I want from you. And like, if possible, let, let a brother get an application. I can go ahead and pay this shit and I can get a fucking apartment at some point in the very near future. But they were, it sounded like they were having a grand fucking time. And then I said, fuck it. And I knocked on the door. I knocked on the door. Everybody was quiet except for the ones that were, I guess they were on the phone, but everybody else just kind of shut up. Like they, they, like they won't about to bother with me at all. <laughs> This shit is stupid. Like, and I get it, COVID, you know, you, you want to, you don't want to be at risk and all this kind of stuff. But like, yo, like if you have apartments to rent, I want to rent one. Why is it so hard for us to connect? It, it just doesn't make any sense. It's so like, you wouldn't think it would be that hard on the phone and stuff like that. At least right. it's like, it's it, at this point in my life, it's easier for me to buy crack than to get information on a fucking apartment. Do you understand this? If I wanted crack, I could find me a crack dealer. That crack dealer is going to sell me some crack. And I ain't got to worry about nothing. Nothing at all. Because that crack dealer would be like, oh yeah, you want some crack? Come on, just crack. And I'm like, yo, all I want is something simple. I just want a place. I just want, I just want an apartment. I just want a place to live. That's all I want. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to do nothing illegal. I'm not trying to do nothing hazardous. All I want right now is find an apartment. And this shit is the absolute fucking worst, like the absolute worst. I don't wish this shit on nobody. Um, 
and like and like my my timetable is all off. Like I should have I should have been moved at the beginning of this month. I think I said that last time. And like shit's just fucked up all over the place. And I uh, I don't really know what to do. And then on on top of all of that, man, this work drama is plentiful. And most of it ain't got shit to do with me. And I'm just kind of there while the work drama is happening. And this is something that I learned in the last few years because previous to the last three years, um, I worked primarily by myself or maybe with one other person. I dealt with the public directly, uh, but for the most part, I worked by myself. So I never had to deal with this. I was in storage for like 11 years and I never had to deal with really like an- annoying coworkers. I had to deal with like, I had to deal with like the, like, you know, you did, you know, the rumor mill, like the people that you cool with, they talk shit about other people, um, that like that type of stuff. But like when you're all in the same office, everything that happens is like a big deal to somebody. And this shit is the worst. When I say it's the worst, it is the worst. I, I like, I don't wish this shit on nobody. And like some days, I, some days, and you know, I'm, I'm a gossip. I mean, I'm, I'm not really like a gossip gossip, but I like to, I like to get everybody's gossip. I like to find out tea on everything, but there's so much stuff going yeah, on. You don't want to just... like get all up in it, but you still kind of want to know what the. <laughs> yeah. You kind of like you're in a situation and you kind of want to know, but then again, like once you do know, that means that you have to know every facet of it. And I'm just kind of like, yo, there's so many facets and there's so many, this problem, this person got a problem with this person for this reason. That person has a problem with that other person for this reason. And there's so much going on that I'm just like, I'm overloaded. (laughs) You know, I'm just over, I'm completely overloaded from just like, yo, I don't want to be a part of this shit at all. Like, yo. (laughs) And the worst part about a lot of that stuff is like, at least when you're in high school, you're like, People acting like high schoolers, and the, you have an excuse that you're teenagers. You're no, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna but tell these, you something. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. But these people are. You can't even use the excuse that there are people our age that just haven't grown up yet. Most of the time, they're older than us, and I'm like, the most immature people are like fifty, fifty-five. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, my. Am, in my office, I am the youngest person by at least ten years, mm-hmm. and I'm the one with the least. I'm the one with the least drama. In fact, I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know if I told you this already, but um, my coworkers think I'm quiet. <laughs> my coworkers believe that I'm quiet, and they're and they're just like, I can't. There's, I tell them all the time, like I'm the one at home. I'm the one that talks too much, and and people just want to. Like, get me to stop talking. And they're just like, I can't imagine that. I literally uh-huh. had one of my coworkers say, I can't imagine you being loud and obnoxious. Wow. She literally said that. She said she can't imagine it. That's how, that's how, <laughs> that's how I am at work. I mean, it's code switching, <laughs> but like, you know, when I'm at work, I'm just kind of like, like <laughs> <laughs> you would have a me, man, to where like, I can't believe you're not, that you would be loud and obnoxious and you're like laughs in amp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much so. Um, so it's just it's just kind of crazy, and I'm just kind of like uh, some some days I'm just kind of like I'm over this. I come home and I, t- I I talk to my girl, and I'm just kind of like, yo, this shit is getting on my nerves. I like I don't know what to do. It's it's like frustrating. Like nothing I can do because it's not like I want to leave my job or anything. I really like my job. Um, mostly because it, it allows me to do the other things when I leave there because there's a set time that I'm supposed to be there. There ain't really a whole lot of overtime stuff and extra time that I need to be there. I'm there at the time I'm supposed to be there. And then I can go do other shit after the fact. Like, you know, nigga want to make some candles? I can go make some candles. I want to do some art? I can go do some art. You know what I mean? Like that type of stuff. Like anything that I want to do, if I want to spend the rest of my afternoon playing the division, I could do that. You know what I mean? So, um, so I, so I, I really like my job and getting paid every Friday is fucking dope. It's, it's, it's dope, but it's also a bad thing because every time you want to make a stupid purchase, you're like, well, I get paid Friday. 
Yeah. Every time you want to do something stupid, you're like, well, I'll get paid Friday. It'll be all right. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the only downfall to getting paid every Friday. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's crazy. And, like, life in general is just kind of all over the place. Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'll just be happy for some sense of normalcy and some sense of in, internal quieting, I guess you would say. Mm-hmm. Um, I did, I did last week. I have, I got a chance to, uh, speak to my therapist for the first time in a while. Uh, and that was really cool. I, and here's the thing because her and I hadn't talked that much, the shit went kind of went like a podcast. Um, where I just pretty much did all of the talking and she just kind of sat there and she kind of chimed in every once in a while, but I just did it. I just did all of the talking. I talked, I talked to her. We talked a little bit over the hour. We was, we, we are generally supposed to talk. We talked for about an hour 45 and I'd say about a good 10 minutes. She spoke. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> she talked about a good ten minutes. I spoke the rest of that. I spoke for about a good hour and a half, just just giving her the rundown of everything that that's going on. Um, is is crazy, and uh, life uh-huh. is just kind of, life is just kind of weird right now. I'm just kind of in a I'm I'm kind of in a holding pattern in oh, life. Yeah. Um, just kind of in a holding pattern. Um, you know you know, wanting some things to change and it's not, and it's not actually changing, like getting the the apartment and all that kind of stuff. And it's just like, it's, it's just kind of all over the place right now. And I I can't wait till that, that part is settled and I can get back to some sense of normalcy, uh, new normal or whatever. But speaking of new normal for everyone else, um, I get my first shot on Saturday. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going to get, so I'm, I'm, I'm finally going to go ahead and get it, uh, just to get it over with. Uh, and also my boss is offering a bonus to anyone that has their, uh, their, that shows a completed card. So I'm trying to get that money dog. Yeah. I'm really, I'm trying, I just, I'm really just trying to get that money dog. I mean, mostly, mostly for like, you know, put money towards, you know, getting, getting my own place. Um, but I'm trying to get that money dog. <laughs> I, and I might take it because it's, you know, it's a hundo. It's a hundo. And I'm like, well, since it's, since that's bonus money and not really like money, money, maybe I might do something stupid with that hundo. It's possible. But the real stupid stuff is, um, costs 500. Huh? The real the, stupid the, stuff costs 500. Yes. Yes. Very much so. But, but some of that stuff that costs 500. Brother can get a deal where I pay on it monthly. I I saw this thing. I really wanted it. It's a it's like a it's like a mixing board and all this kind of stuff with microphones and all that kind of shit. And I'm just kind of like, ooh, I want that. And it was like, how much is that? Six hundred dollars. I'm like, hmm. Before before having to put this money aside for this uh, for this apartment, I'm like, hmm, I might be able to swing that. <laughs> now I'm glad I didn't. I'm so glad I did. Let me tell you, super glad. Um. Aiden Spencer in the background. I see you, dog. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, I, you know what? Let's talk, let's talk about some stuff. You want to talk about some stuff? Let's talk about some stuff. Yeah. Um, I have, I've, I've, I'm, I'm, I'm continuing to watch my CW shows. The new Superman show is getting really, is is getting good, but the last episode was very, very CW. Uh-huh. Like it was like extremely CW. But um, is it, I got a problem. I got a problem with this little Superman show, and this this might be a slight spoiler to anyone who hasn't watched this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Superman got two twin boys, right? One of them got his powers. He ain't got the same kind of like Superman powers, but he got powers more than a regular ass person. Right. He decided he wanted to play football Mm -hmm. and he plays defense. And you see this dude is like tossing people twice his size all over the fucking field. And the idea that no one has asked any questions (laughs) is 
fucking with me right now. It's really fucking with me right now. It's like, do y'all do a blood test? Like, do y'all think he might be on steroids? Like, he's not, like, the way that these dudes are flying when he hits them is like, yo, somebody should be asking some questions here. Right. Like the other son who didn't get the powers before they left Metropolis and came back to Smallville, he was a quarterback. Now, here's the thing. You can hide it a lot better as a quarterback than you can playing defense because he's not, the quarterback is not hitting anyone. Right. You know what I mean? He's not hitting anyone. And like, you like, you know, if he bumps into somebody, like he can just go down. No one is going flying. Right. You know what I mean? But like this dude is playing this dude is playing defense, sending big dudes flying all around the damn field and ain't nobody asking no questions. They ain't been no blood tests. They ain't been no nothing. And I have all the questions here. Like, how is this how is this allowed? Right. And even as a superhero, like being a quarterback would still take some skill, you know, versus right. just ramming people. Yeah, because, like, if you have super strength, of course, you can fling the ball hard. Right. But, like, do, you know, you still got to ha- you still gotta get the ball where it's supposed to go. Right. Even you can't you just, like, it fling it out of the damn stadium. <laughs> right. I mean, it's it's possible. Like, you could do that. But, like, then someone should show up and be like, yeah, we need to test my man for some steroids. And then when the needle doesn't work. Then we have all of the questions and no one has had any questions so far. And this is fucking with me. This is like super fucking with me. (laughs) Other than that, other than that, like seeing Superman as a dad and seeing Superman as a clueless dad is like the most interesting thing ever. Like this dude (laughs) can go, this dude can go fight doomsday and he, he is right in his element. But dealing with his son that has mental issues, with not like depression issues and stuff like that, you know, his 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 his, his one son got got like some real real kind of issues issues. Uh, the one son is like the super popular one, and the other one is like the like the emo kid. And like you know, Superman doesn't know how to deal with his own son. I find that to be interesting. But it's the emo kid that decided to play football after the fact. And now he's the one that's throwing people around. And he's getting a taste of what it's like to be popular. Yeah. Um, while the other one is just kind of looking over his shoulder like, damn, football was my thing. You ain't give a fuck about football yesterday. Why the fuck do you give a fuck about football right now? Um, right. Yeah, and it's it's only a couple of episodes in, but it, I really like this show. I, I liked it so much better than like Supergirl, even though Supergirl is going to replace it for a while because they had some delays in filming because of COVID. Um, so they're, they're going to have like seven episodes and then they're going to take a break and Supergirl is going to come in in that slot until they get their shit straight. So... Um, and I ain't watching no damn Supergirl. I mean, I might catch up to it at some point when it's all done. But like, I'm like, yo, I'm I'm really not trying to watch no Supergirl right now. Right. And um, did you 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 never watched the, you never watched All American, right? And watch what? All American. Uh. Uh-uh. It's, it's it's a good show. Um, it's like <clears throat> it's like <clears throat> what is it like, Scar? What is it like, man? All right. Oh yeah, he's gone. BRB to the podcast. It's just a chase cast. It's just a chase cast now. So, it, well, oh, here he's back. I don't know what happened. I refreshed. It uh, like came back. I don't know. I don't know what happened. It just kind of. I was saying, the, uh, one of the one of the like the side characters in All American is like the new Lex Luthor, and it's weird. One because he's a black dude, but like the the Lex Luthor in the cartoon was black. You know what I mean? So, like, it's not, like, the worst thing ever. Like, it is not, like, such a thing. Like, we've never seen this before. We've never seen a black Lex Luthor. But, or, uh, it didn't even say is they didn't even say that he's Lex. It, they, the, the computer just called him, like, Captain Luthor or something like that. Apparently, in some alternate reality, he was in the military or some shit. I don't know. It's just fucking weird. Um, but yeah, I really, I really dig that shit. Um, and the other shows, uh, Bad Girl is just weird. Bad Woman, I don't know. It's just like, uh, don't get, I, it, it's like, I really wish, I, for the longest time, I wish that they would just get rid of the Kate Kane storyline because that chick decided she wanted to leave. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. 
they just announced they have cast a replacement Kate Kane. And I'm like, bruh, when, <laughs> when are we going to let new Batwoman live, bruh? Like, I thought they the just, whole reason that they got the new character is so they didn't have to recast and then the recasting anyway. Yep. 100%. So I don't know how they plan on pulling this off, but they, they cast another lady to play Kate Kane. And I don't understand it at all. Cause like, if you take out all of, if you take out all of the Kate Kane stuff, this season could have been really good. It's like, <laughs> it's like having some food delivered to your house and you take the food and, and then you take the food, get in your car and drive to the restaurant and eat it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It don't make no sense. Um, and then I don't think I've watched a whole <clears throat> lot more than that. Um, people have been talking a lot about, oh, oh, I watched the Falcon and Winter Soldier uh, first episode. Yeah, I haven't yet. Oh, that was good. It, it's good. It's not uh, It's not like a super action-packed episode. Uh, it's kind of just laying the groundwork for what's going on in both of their lives. Basically. Well, the shows don't really need to be because – they need to save all that stuff for the movies. I would. They there is one like really actiony scene early in the episode where Falcon gets busy, and we even see when the soldier gets busy, but it, it, it but it's in a flashback, mm. so we don't see him get busy like now. Um. So, but we do see people get busy. It's just not enough. They just they just kind of like like setting a base level for where, where these characters are. And you find out one very, very important thing about the superheroes in the Marvel world. I won't say what it is because I don't want to spoil it for nobody, but you find out one what in dealing with Falcon and what Falcon is going through, you find out one very, very important thing. And it's like, bruh, for real? Like when you find out you, when you find out what that is, and you 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 gotta watch this shit while you at work. Um, but like yo, you like yo for real? That's crazy. I never even thought of this shit. But like yeah. Um, so like when when you when you get to that, I want uh uh send me a text message and be like yo, what the fuck just happened? Um, <laughs> um. So I watched that, and I don't think I watched very much else. Um. You know, just that's that's pretty much what I'm watching, and of course, I'm watching a whole lot of um, a whole lot of YouTube. Currently, I am watching the uh, Raekwon and Ghostface versus battle, and this shit is dope. Man, again, is Wu Tang, and it makes me miss my brother. But this shit is like super fucking dope, mm -hmm. and like and like those dudes, like those dudes have a lot to do with with like my like middle school and high school days and like the the music that they created are are basically like a lot of it is a soundtrack mm -hmm. of my life and like and, you know i can place you know i'm listening to them perform these songs and i can tell you exactly where i was when this thing was hot you know what i mean so that shit is really dope i really like the verses um we're finally 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 getting the verses that everyone wanted and I know this means nothing to you, Chase, but this shit is going to mean everything to me. We're getting an Isley Brothers versus Earth, Wind, and Fire. That means something to me. I like both sure? of those. Yeah, that's going <clears> to <throat> that's going to be dope, son. I mean, I know some of the some of the some of the members are gone. Yeah, especially Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, and, but I know some of the members are gone. But like, that's going to be dope. That's going to be a fucking party. And I am fucking here for it. I am here for every bit of that. So yeah. All right. I'm. I'm. I'm I think I talked enough. What you watch? Um. Well, watching. I haven't really watched too much. But um. <clears throat> but yeah, my my week's been a little crazy too. Not really throughout the week. The week, the actual week part of the week was kind of normal. But the weekend, like Friday through today, has been kind of crazy because we um. Trying to do a little spring cleaning or whatnot, and ev everything has to wait on something. <clears throat> like if you notice, Aiden's on the couch because mm -hmm. we got a bed frame. Because we're trying to, because when the home girl was staying with us for a little bit, you know, we borrowed a a queen size mattress. We just borrowed a mattress, and it happened to be a queen size, and um, it's just too big for that room. It just was all bed. And, <laughs> 
<laughs> I've been there before. I had to get rid of my my bed frame because I had a sleigh bed. And when I had to move, um, the sleigh bed just took up too much of the room. So I just had to take out the fucking bed frame and just put the mattress on the floor. And my mattress has been on the floor ever since. Yeah. And this is mattress on the floor too, but it's still too big. Right. <clears throat> right. But, um, <clears throat> but yeah, I, uh, we, we, we were like, well, hey, mom, do you want this mattress back? And they were like, no, we don't, you, you know, you can get rid of it. And then, you know, nobody's going to really take used mattresses. You know I mean? Nobody wants that shit. So I was right. like, how much they are, you feel bad about just throwing them out. But right. that's, you got to think of mattresses as being the, the, a disposable thing that you, you're not going to sell it. You're not going <clears> to <throat> do anything with it. So we, we were just like, we wanted new mattresses. So, and we wanted them to have twins because they're fucking, they don't have to have these big old beds. We, mm-hmm. I, I was on a twin bed until I moved out of my house. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, but, um, but anyway, so mm-hmm. I, I, I figured out that the, I thought that there were a lot of the mattress frames would, um, go from like a twin to a full or whatnot. And they would be kind of hard to do that with. They're just janky, but this one that was under the the queen size it was awesome like i I looked at it i was like holy crap this thing goes from a king to a twin and it was super easy to make it so i put it into a to a twin and and but the mattress isn't coming until wednesday and i I went on bid blocks because i was wanting him to have a futon because i was like he's going to be a teenager soon like uh i want him to have a room that he's not going to be embarrassed to have friends over and having a futon to where he can make it into a couch and you play video games and do whatnot. That would be kind of a, a teenager thing. And I always wanted a futon. I never had a futon growing up. So I right. just kind of, <clears throat> and every time I would find I had one, a, I had a cheap one. I had a cheap one and I didn't like that shit. And I was a little bit too tall for it. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, we, uh, like big lots, as soon as we go to order it, they're all out of stock. And then on Amazon, it was like traditional futons, the one you like put on the damn floor. I was like, that's not what I'm on. I want a futon, like American futon. <laughs> <laughs> I want American, damn it. <laughs> but, and it's just so hard to find it to where it was just, or there'd be like super nice ones, not the ones we grew up with that were like $500. I was like, no. So we're just going with the twins, but they're not going to be here. To Wednesday, this is, seems like everything happens to have a wait period to where we can't do this because we got to wait on this. And I'm like, God. And like today, we were just out because I I got a, a transaction that I didn't know about. And actually, I was just listening to Fred podcast. He had the same thing happen. So it's like must be something going around because of these um, stimulus or whatnot that people are like, I want some of your stimulus too. But right. <laughs> so so I um. You did some stimmy, dog. I had to cancel that card, but I found out about that like 4 p.m. on the Friday. So I couldn't even go to the bank and get a temporary card in time for the weekend. So I was pretty much only way that I could spend money is to like send money to my wife's bank account and spend money that way. And I could do that without my debit card. And so, and then the day we went to the bank and my freaking battery died at the bank. <laughs> And go have it jumped, and it was because my my belt's been slipping, and um, you know my alternator wasn't giving the juice to charge the battery good, and mm-hmm. we did leave the radio on while I was in the bank, or not while I was in the bank, but while I was trying to like do the big lots thing, and it ran the banter down. But um, and then that happened, and then at O'Reilly's because we went there to test the battery, and they were like, "It's fine," but you know, so showing low, but you know the the the, the, the belt and all that, but. There was some sort of backup, and the roads were all backed up. We couldn't even leave the fucking store. Like, we had to go around back, and we finally found the little path behind it to get out of the store because the roads were so backed up. And I was like, it's freaking Monday at 1 p.m. What the hell, people? <laughs> Why is there so much traffic? But apparently there was some wreck or whatnot. But even, even if there was wreck, there's still that that much people on the road. On a Monday. 
But yeah. um, it's just an all day thing. But we got it figured out. I I actually got my inspection done. Had to buy new tires, but I figured I'd have to do that anyway. But um, we went to these dudes this, that my parents um recommended. Kind of a small outfit. They have a taco truck. And uh, yeah, man, sixty five dollars a tire. That was a pretty good deal. I thought for tires, yeah, yeah, and it's the same brand, same everything I always get, which is a uh, Dural or Dural or whatnot. But um, so, so yeah, the um, got all that done. I actually, we actually got my belt tightened too. So. But that was a whole thing to where. The day was supposed to be getting mattresses, and we did not do that. <laughs> <'Cause>, okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. But it's been an ordeal trying to do all this moving around, because I'm wanting to get a new computer desk and get this to Aiden, because Amber went ahead and we made that. But she's never on it, and he needs a good computer. I mean, for games and for school. But um, So I'm giving him this desk, and I, I just want a simple... You know, like if you look up a gaming desk, it's mm-hmm. normally like a pretty simple desk. I'm right. trying to get one of those. And um but you need like a kitchen table? No. Like a nice one? I got I got one. I got one. And and like you gonna give it to me. How the fuck I'm gonna get that shit from North Carolina? Come here and pick it up. Why the fuck would I do that? So we can hang out and you can take a table. Man, you know what? You know what I thought about. Here's what. I, here's what I thought about. What did you think about, man? I might. I might take you up on that offer, and we might do lunch or some shit like that. Whenever Candle Science open back up, where you can do pickups, because uh-huh. their shipping is fucking outrageous. So, like, if I need to order like a bunch of wax, I'm just gonna fucking drive to Durham and get it. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, what I, mean? I, I would. I would, it would work out cheaper if I take a drive for two and a half fucking hours and go get it, as opposed to having them ship it to me. Yeah, but they they have not opened up with all this COVID shit. They have not opened back up at all. I know some places still. Do some places still do uh, pick up at the store? Candle Science does not, and that's the closest place for me to get the stuff. There's the closest closest place to me that I can actually get the stuff that I need. Yeah, yeah, man. But I'm, we're wanting to get rid because we we never eat at the big table. You know, it's always like these big dining tables. You think you're supposed to have one, but we mostly just eat at the bar or we eat in the living room watching TV or something. You know, but we still eat as a family. It's just not that the traditional like way to do it. Right. You know, it's just so it, it don't really fit. You know, in the, I mean, you've been here. It don't really fit in the live, in, in the area because it's just so big. And we can make it smaller, but it doesn't really close very good. Kind of have to have it in the big mode. But that's where I was going to put my computer desk. But I can't do that until we get that out. You, you know, it's another thing to where it's like, it feels like we're stuck. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel that. I don't, I, I'm just, I mean, well, first of all, I know that my, my dining room table, first of all, it's, it's counter height. And like, so like, <laughs> you know, short people, I'm usually around short people and they have a hard time sitting at my table, uh, when I actually had a place. Um, so I don't really eat at the table either. Um, you know, most, most of the time I'm, I'm, I'm eating somewhere where I can watch TV. So, um, TV dinner. Yeah. And your and banjo, I, and then and then like I I know that my my table set has some defects because I did the moving myself, so I probably broke a few little things. So I got I got to do some figuring once I actually move. You know you know you know the, the shit that you normally do. Like you just you know decide that's broke. You just put it up against the wall. Like I'm just gonna have to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do that, but um, yeah, it's all of this stuff with moving and stuff like that is gonna be like I got to do a whole lot of figuring about like where I'm going to put things because I have I still have a lot of stuff for some reason. I had a small apartment, my last apartment that I had myself. I had a small apartment, but um, I had a lot of stuff, and now I got like a sectional and all this kind of shit. Like, bruh, and you know how much stuff you can fit in like a tight space. You're like. 
this one drawer, if I ended out this drawer, it'd be the whole living room. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but, That's crazy. All right, you um, you want to get into some games, man? Oh yeah, let's get into some games, man. Um, you want to go first because I, I I got I got some things to talk about. All right, man. <clears throat> well, um, still playing Valheim. I am fucking loving that shit, dude. It's just the right amount of relaxing and actual like gameplay to feels like I don't feel like I'm making my own fun, even though sometimes I am. You know, like the building and stuff and trying to make your house but some of that is like what you would do in like the sims or like rim world or whatnot but like but yeah i love the whole things are gated by bosses like if you don't want to like go out into the black forest or whatnot you ain't fucking got to you can just stay in with your leather armor and just farm or whatever but you know mm-hmm. fight the first boss that's how you get a pickaxe you're not. There's no reason for you to go into Black Forest until you got a pickaxe, unless you want to fucking die. But because you can't mine without a pickaxe. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just loving it. Like I mostly just played with my brother. But then I was like, I had a lot of cool stuff. But then I was like, they have a a, a smelter and a kiln and stuff, and I'm using it. But I don't. I don't know how they made it. So I actually made my own world. It started from scratch just so I can learn a little bit more. And it almost right. feels like I'm, I went on to like some sort of pilgrimage, like a, a quarry and, and like <laughs> trying to figure all this stuff out. And now I'm going to come back with more knowledge to bring to the tribe or whatnot. <laughs> you got to bring, got to, got to bring some things back to the flotilla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, and I really dig the building too because you really have to think about that. It's not like Minecraft where you can just like build whatever. You have to like build a skeleton because at first we were really struggling with it. Like everything's falling, but you got to build your skeleton and like have it to where your ceiling is actually got a pole going down. You know, to where it's not going to fall. But um, but so it actually you... we got to build a support structure. Is what yeah. you're saying. But it'll let you know. If it, it'd be green if it doesn't need one, and it'll start getting yellow or red if it really needs one. But it, it's really good, and it's really pretty. And like, yes, the textures are like a PS1 game, but like how they do the vegetation and the lighting and stuff, it's like a 2021 um, Triple Y game. It's just, I, I don't I mean, know. I don't have anything bad to say about it. The people who play really dig it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm just, I just haven't, well, if they don't make a, if they don't make an Xbox version, I'm probably not going to play. Um, that's just, that's just off rip. If they don't make an Xbox version, I'm probably Yeah, it's not. only on PC, mm-hmm. but it does have controller support. So that tells you that it could come to consoles. It could. Yeah. And I, I hope, I hope Xbox buy it like they did with, um, with Outriders. <laughs> that they just put it was like, yo, we gonna put this shit on ga- the Game Pass day one. When it come out for consoles, day one, Game well, Pass. I, well, I think it needs to release first because you don't want a game like that just to get shot over to the Xbox yeah. and yeah, it's just a, be it's, a crash well, board. Here's the thing. Xbox actually has early access games mm-hmm. like PC. So it'll still fit on Xbox. They just will make sure that you know that it's an early access game. Well, you don't want it to be like just a PC version, but on Xbox, and it feels like I should really be playing this on PC. You know, kind of like The Sims 4. or <laughs> That's true. That's true, because like I said, my daughter loves The Sims, and I put her on The Sims on console. She's like, the fuck is this shit? And turn this shit off, and I don't think she's ever played again. <laughs> yeah, but I, I really love that shit, and um, <clears throat> but I got me a new monitor, finally. I'm uh, finally into when the- that stimmy hit, you like, yo, how many peas can I get for for fourteen hundo? How many <laughs> how many peas can I get out of this monitor, dog? This bitch curve, can I? D- 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 not, don't even offer me nothing that don't curve, bro. Like <laughs> for real, for real, my stimmy hit. Like I need you. I need all the peas. And I need some curves. I don't even need just a curve. Like, I know you got curved monitors and stuff like that. That's cool. I need more than one curve. That's how I'm living right now. My stimmy hit. 
I don't want no curve. I want it to curl. <laughs> yeah. I want that shit to wrap around me. And like when I when I when I when I when I, when I inhale, I want it to give me a hug. <laughs> Yeah, well, well. Anyway, um, my new one isn't is not curved, but um, it is um, fourteen forty p, and a uh, higher frame rate. I, I I think it goes up to one hundred seventy seven, but you kind of have to overclock it. But I just have it at one fifty five. The um, and it's got HDR, which I actually didn't know it had HDR. So that's one thing I was kind of doing is because I've never seen HDR. And I always heard everyone, oh, HDR, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God. They're, like, touching their everything about HDR. And I'm like, okay. Rub your nipples. I'm, I, am, I am not sold on the HDR. <laughs> the, um, yeah, you, looked, you know, you're, not, you're not sold on that shit until you get it. And you go, oh, I get it now. Well, well I got it, and I'm not sold on it. No, no, I think I think it'll it'll get you at some point. The right but, thing to get you because you've been playing a game that looked like a PS2 game. Yeah, like, and that's not that. I, I I actually went in games. I booted up Destiny, and that looks pretty good. Destiny it, like a ten year old game, bro. Right, but like, I looked up games that had HDR in them. You know what I mean? So not every game has HDR. So um, Destiny, Destiny two. I mean, and uh, the um. That looked pretty good, it, but it seemed like something you'd have to get used to. And then yeah. I booted up Far Cry 5, yeah, and that looked like hot garbage to me. Sometimes that shit could be a little too crispy. Yeah, it looked like hot garbage to me. And there was two settings. One was HDR 10, and I heard that's an older version, and then the other HDR. And it looked like if you took a picture, and then you took the saturation all the way up and the contrast all the way up, and you're like, oh my god, that looks amazing. And you're like... No, it just looks like you just blasted everything, and that's kind of what right. it looked like. But fucking Hellblade looked amazing. Holy fuck, did that look good? So I think it might depend on the game. But I heard that everyone said that Far Cry Five looked good in HDR, but it's it's weird, and you can't take good screenshots because the screenshots are not going to reflect the HDR, so they all look like they're so, out of so, so your screenshots look like 1080p. My screenshots look like I have the fucking saturation and contrast like blasted. Mm-hmm. So it, it also looks super red. I don't know. It's weird. But then what's weird is those same screenshots look decent on my phone, which has an HDR screen. So it's almost wow. like you have to look through it. You got to look at it in HDR for it to look like HDR. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I still... It looks good, but I still find it a little gimmicky, you know, because it's it's just color saturation, really. It's not anything crazy. But yeah, Hellblade looked amazing. (laughs) But I I think the higher resolution really was a big jump. And I've heard that, and I went with 1440p instead of 4K because 4K is really hard to like hit natively. Yeah. And then, like, at, at that point, sometimes you might just, it'd be, it'd be easier just to buy a fucking TV. Yeah, because I, um, so I did, uh, 1440p, and I heard that it's a big jump between 1080 and 1440, but it's not as big of a jump between 2K and 4K, which 1440 is 2K. But, um, so I was just, I just go 1440, because I know I'm going to be able to hit that, you know. And, like, 4K, it's, I, I never, I never felt like 4K really made a huge difference for anyone, really. Like, there's people who care about such things, but, like, going back to the argument of HD in the first place, most people can't tell the difference between 720 and 1080. Like, you know what I mean? Most people, well, you'll, like, listen, person listening right now, a lot of y'all regular ass eyes can't tell the difference between 720 and 1080. So, like, going to 4K may seem like a great idea for you. Until you realize that it ain't gonna make no difference for your regular ass eyes. <laughs> okay, I'm glad we had this talk. We can have to get some. We can have to get some Star Trek eyes. See Pretty all much. the keys. All of them. <laughs> I wonder. If, never mind. I was about to say something stupid. No. It's it's like when the Xbox One first launched and everyone lost their shit about the 900p games, and I was like. Right. You, you would not have known. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of suck that it's 900p. 
but you would not have known that it was 900p unless it said it on the box. <laughs> right. Because, <laughs> I mean, 900 is pretty fucking close to 1080. Exactly. <laughs> It's stupid. It's all of that shit is stupid, and that's the reason why gaming gaming hasn't progressed as much as we hoped it would have progressed by now. I don't think it's progressed too terribly much since like 2013. I mean, it has progressed. Like, if you see a game from 2013, you're like, yeah, that seems a little older now. But um, it's not really that stark difference. And they they haven't. They might have looked a little bit better, but I don't think they have gotten better, like a better game. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, there's been some good games, don't get me wrong, but like as a whole, I don't think it's just been like, holy crap, every year we're just hitting freaking milestones after milestones. That's not how it's been. Right. I mean, can you tell the difference between a game from 2018 and 2019? Nope. <laughs> not really. But, but yeah, I also, um, I booted up Mass Effect 2 just to see it in 14.4. I knew it didn't have HDR. I was like, they look really good. Frame rate's freaking crazy. Everything's super smooth. And then I started playing Mass Effect 2 and, uh, finished it because I had actually stopped right before the, um, Legion's mission. For some uh-huh. reason, I just started playing other things. And so I finished Legion's mission and I finished the collector base and, this layer the shadow broker and now I'm on arrival and then on arrival I was just thinking why the hell did she tell you all that fucking shit to get you there to stop the fucking reapers just to tell you no bitch we ain't stopping the reapers and I'm like why didn't she just tell you oh we got everything in control thank you for saving me you can go back to Amber Hackett <laughs> And then let the Reapers come in. Like, why Why bring him there? <laughs> Tell wow. all that shit and spill all the fucking shit about the Reapers. It don't make no sense. Unless you just wanted to indoctrinate Shepard. Which would have made sense. Because that that one part where you think don't, you're shooting all those dudes. Don't start that. What? Don't start an indoctrination theory nonsense. Well, I don't, I'm not talking not about... Not in my the, house, Chase. I'm not talking about the indoctrination theory. I'm just saying that she probably tried to, and that's why she brought him in. But because that one, that one part where um, you're shooting all those dudes, you're like, "Holy shit! Why did they just keep coming?" Oh, I'm supposed to die here, or and then she's like, "Oh, we have to keep him alive." Why would she want to keep him alive unless she's trying to use him as some sort of asset? Right. So, but yeah, that's, that's just a weird DLC, I think. But that that does that's the whole reason that you're in jail and shit in the third game. So, but yeah, that that looked good. But I'm excited for the legendary edition for multiple reasons. But one is that yeah, the PC version of the regular game looks great, right? It looks amazing, mm-hmm. except the cutscenes because the cutscenes are still pre-rendered 720p content, and you know you have this really crisp gameplay, and then it goes to the cutscenes, which are supposed to look better. Than your gameplay, which they did back on the 360, but now it's like on the PC. You're like, hmm, because mo- mostly these days your cutscenes are pre are, are not pre rendered; they're rendered in in game. But yeah, right. so at least your cutscenes are going to look better, and um, Liar is not look like going to look like she has a gap in her teeth. Okay, I'm I'm interested in it just so I can see what changes they make to one. That makes me want to actually play one again. What? That's pretty much, and the, the, I mean, the rest of it, of course, is great, and I love it. And but, like, I don't I, like unless they make some significant changes to one. I don't. I I'm not gonna care. Well, um, I I think they're making significant significant changes to one, but I know one change they're not gonna make, and that is thermal clips because it it's lore based. Right, I'm, I'm not worried about that. I'm not yeah. worried about that at all. Uh, and shout out to Knox. Knox will be happy that they're yeah. not changing that. Uh, he hated, he always hated the thermal clips, and he's also an indoctrination theory person. Um, I just I just want it to be a, a game where I don't spend half of my time in the menus converting Omni Gel and shit. 
that's all I care about. Like, I care about, like, actually playing the game and not having to worry about stupid stuff. It, that ain't got nothing to do with, like, the regular game. Like, I get it. You get a whole bunch of stuff, and you work out how you're going to deal with that stuff. But, like, bruh. Get your stuff and do stuff with your stuff. Break yeah, your stuff. Some yeah, stuff I don't, don't want to spend half of my time converting to Omni-Gel and shit. I just, that's the part that I just don't care about. I always figured that Omni Gel is like fucking like petroleum je- jelly. You're just turning all your you're like all oh, this armor. I'm just going to, have to convert that into fucking <laughs> um Vaseline. That's what I, the word I was looking for. Just convert a fucking I mean, whole sets of armor into Vaseline. <laughs> same difference. Yeah, I know what you, you know what you meant. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you finished? Yeah, man. All right, so <laughs> I'm just talking about the stuff that I that that I normally talk about first. All right. Um, so I got I I logged on because I've been actually playing games. Um, so I logged on one day and I saw um I saw Devious Mister Matt playing um so I saw him playing the Division Two. And I was like, man, I want to play the Division 2. And then I got in, I got in the party and him and, um, Captain Mike were playing. And apparently, um, uh, Mr. Matt had played previously on the PlayStation. So he was starting over. So they had low level characters. So I deleted one of my characters and I started over with him. Um, now in hindsight, I probably should have taken off all of those, that character stuff and put it in the stash, but that's hindsight. Um, <laughs> Because you keep the stuff that's in your stash. Um, so, uh, so I deleted one of my characters. The one character that I had that never been to New York, I, I deleted him and started over. And it's been a blast. I've been playing almost, almost every day, at least a little bit with, um, with, um, with, with those two in Maine. I even joined, I even joined their clan because I got kicked out of my old clan on Division Two. Um, and so, and then we, we, we've been putting in work. Like we had to, um, uh, we had, we got to unlock stuff cause we basically started from scratch and like, apparently they didn't get a whole lot. Uh, apparently you need four people for, to, to actually start accruing the stuff that build your clan up or whatever like that. So, um, so I was the fourth and it started doing pretty well. Um, my homeboy who I played a ton of division two with, my cousin finally convinced him to play division one. He has never played division one. He played a shit ton of division two. He's never played the division one. And he started playing. I jumped in and we started playing that game and we were playing for like hours and he was gleeful because I mean, the, the division one is a much better game. Let's just call it what it is. Um, the division one is a much better game, but it's a it's a more more challenging game. Um, so I so I, I I've been playing a lot of division, like one and two, a ton of division for this past week. Um, and then of course I played a little bit uh, in the past two weeks of uh, Two Point Hospital. I've been playing my 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 first one, not the one that I have saved because I was making the videos, but I was playing, um, uh, continuing uh, the one I was playing on my own, and that's pretty fun. I I really dig Two Boy Hospital, and then I played a game that I've never played before. My daughter was here this weekend, and uh, we played from beginning to end on Saturday. We played a way out. And we played that game from beginning to end. And yeah, I wanted to play that with Amber, but I um never got around to it. I really wanted to play it with my brother, but he said he already played it with somebody. I was like, "Are you my I brother?" Will, I will say this, and a lot of people, a lot of people will concur with this: playing the game with someone means a whole lot more than the game itself meant. You know what I mean? Like, but me playing the game with my daughter meant a whole lot more to me than what I was playing. It was a cool experience. The ending, eh, the ending was kind of eh, um, especially because the twist I called halfway through the game. So I called the twist and I, I told my daughter, I was like, yo, this is the twist. And she was like, it can't be. 
when it happened, she looked at me. She was, she, she gave me that look like, you motherfucker, you called this shit. Um, um, but yeah, I called it halfway through, but it was still a really fun experience. So, um, and you know, it's, it's hard to try to find games that like the two of us can play because she likes much different games than I do. Um, you know, so, but like this, she saw, she saw her other parents playing the game and she was like, well, I want to play. And then she was just like, dad, you want to play this game with me? I'm like, hell yeah. I'll play the game with you. I ain't never played this shit other than like seeing like the demos and stuff like that on like the game awards that year. Remember that guy was like drunk. Um, yeah, that dude was wasted, man. Yeah, that dude was (laughs) full goal that day. Um, but yeah, uh, so like I didn't really know very much else about the game other than the fact that like you're 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 both on the screen at the same time. That was that was fucking weird. But it ended up being a fun experience. It was a super fun experience. Um not one that I really want to have again, but if there is a if there ends up being I, I know that the that the that developer is working on another game. If it's like a way out, I would try it. Yeah. It yeah, it's I think they're done, but it's um it's coming out fairly soon. I think it's gonna be a Game Pass game. Yeah. Or not yeah, a game well, the EA play or whatever. But yeah, but that's but that if you have the ultimate you have EA play anyway. Yeah, 'cause it um it's called It Takes Two. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Like I, someone told me when I when I told when I, I put on Facebook that I finished a way out, someone sent me a message and was just like, Yo, um they come they're come they're about to come out with another game that's coming out soon. So, yeah, I don't know much about it other than it um, relationship. It seems like a couple, and I think okay. they figured they they'll go that direction. In the fact that probably less brothers played a way out and more couples played a way out, so they made their new game actually about couples. <laughs> right, I get that. I get that. But yeah, it was a, it was a super fun experience, and like is it was the the cool part is the. The, the, it brought couch co-op back. And that was, that was the best part about it. It brought couch co-op back. Um, I felt, I, I, it was just, a, it was just a good experience. I'm not saying the game is really that good. I mean, the game is, the, the game is good, not great. Um, but it, the, the experience of playing the game with someone that y'all sitting there and like, you know, especially when you're playing the game with someone on a different skill level as you. Yeah, exactly. like, I, I think it's kind of like um, if you played like uh, what was it like Until Dawn like by yourself, you're probably like, well, uh, that was pretty cool, but I don't really see the whole hype. The hype was about that everybody's freaking playing it as a party game. Right. You know what I mean? And that's why people look back on that game so fondly is because it has memories that tied tied to it. <laughs> The, those conversations. Let me tell you about the the best conversation that you have uh, while you're while you're playing the way out with someone of a different skill level than you. Uh-huh. This is the conversation. I'll, I'll do. I'll, oh, what the fuck? I'm driving. Well, why did you walk to the driver's side? No, I don't want to drive. How, how do we get out of this? Well, you're in this now. We're in the scene. You got to drive. Well, I don't want to drive. Like that. That was. <laughs> It's like, why did you walk over there? All I wanted to do was was knock the cop out. I didn't think I would be the one driving. <laughs> that happened. The shooting in that game sucks, though. What? <laughs> like, why am I driving? Why did you get in the driver's seat, turn the car on, and hit the gas? No, because there's one part. There's one part, and it's a slight spoiler, but there's one part where when you when you're escaping, you have a choice to make. And the choice is you can jump this cop, take his car and take off, or you can go underneath a bridge. The cop is at the edge of, the, of a bridge that they come to. And I think she thought that you were just going to knock the cop out because that's what you have been doing up to that point. Uh-huh. You just been knocking everybody out and then you just kind of move on. But the moment she knocked that cop out, he immediately got into the driver's seat. <laughs> So they kind of changed things in in that moment. It changed everything. So, uh-huh. but, but it was it was super fun, and if if it was like I said, that's an experience that I would that I would love to have again with another game. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. I think I think that's it for me. I I really. I don't have an HBO subscription, but I kind of want to watch the Snyder Cut. Everyone's a lot of people have spoken very highly about the Snyder Cut. It was yeah. what's weird is around the time of the Avengers, and I know it's most of this. I don't know if most of this, but you know, people don't want to say anything good about Josh Whedon right now. No, but around the time of the Avengers, everyone was like. DC just want to be so dark. Why is everything so brooding and dark, you know? And then, you know, Justice League, Batman versus Superman, all the Superman movies where it was like him basically becoming a murderer. <laughs> like, everyone's mm-hmm. like, why is it so dark, 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 dark? And then Justice League, and it was like a little bit more whimsical because of, or had some Josh Whedon, you know, Josh Whedonisms. Um, <laughs> and then when the Snyder Cut coming, it was like, yes, darkness again. Like fuck all this candy bullshit, and I'm like, I, didn't you just? I, hate I, that the, shit? Here's what I hate about it, and this would be the only thing that you'll hear me say about it. Uh huh. Snyder got the benefit of hindsight, and that's what he's that's what he's living on right now. He had the benefit of hindsight. He had he saw a, and like I am I am not of the. I am not of the ilk that think that Joss Whedon walked in and was like, I'm changing this. I'm changing that. I'm changing this. I'm changing that. Everything got to go without no one having, no, without no one feeling like they should check him. Because as I understand it, Joss Whedon was brought in to finish, but like, it's not like he brought a whole fucking team with him. It was just him. They brought him in to finish this shit. And like, do you mean to tell me that this, this, the 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 people at Warner Brothers greenlit this movie based off of a script that Zack Snyder had made, and they just let Joss Whedon change everything about the thing that they greenlit that they put millions of fucking dollars into. That makes no sense. It makes no sense that you can put all of this on Joss Whedon's feet, especially because, like, okay, so you mean to tell me, like? his director of photography was just like, that's not how this is supposed to go. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't say that to Joss Whedon. Like, I I get it. Like, Joss Whedon is a name and we know and we understand. And Joss Whedon made possibly the most important movie to the MCU, which is Ultron. Age of Ultron is the most important movie to the MCU, period. There's so much that happened in uh, Infinity War and especially in game that can be traced directly back to Ultron. That's where this is the most important movie in the MCU period. Fight me. Um, but like the <laughs> fact, the fact that you, the fact that you, the fact that they, the fact that people are acting like all of this is at Joss Whedon's feet is bullshit. I think it's total bullshit. And Zack Snyder has had the benefit of hindsight of saying, okay, this movie didn't come out the way that I, that I expected it to. But then he had the benefit of time to figure out what else he could have done. You know what I mean? And then like, even then it releases a four hour movie when you know that if it hit theaters, they'd have to cut half of that shit. To, they have to cut it all fucking down and it'll be right back to the way it was. You know what I mean? Like yeah, you may you, and you made people a, you like hate of, jo- not Josh uh, didn't people hate Snyder in the fact because didn't he do like Batman versus Superman and shit? But Zack Snyder had the benefit of hindsight is what I'm saying. He yeah. also had the benefit of the hindsight about how people feel about Joss Whedon right now. Yeah. Like he he's he benefited greatly from all of this. One he had enough he 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 had enough time to figure out what he would have done differently and was able to get to convince someone to let him implement the things that he could have done differently because I I can guarantee you he came up with some shit after the fact. You know what I mean? I can guarantee you he came up with some shit after the fact. The, uh, there probably were a lot of reshoots uh, and like s- filming of new scenes because all of this shit didn't just magically be on the cutting room floor for him to redo. No, they had to go in and they had to make some new shit because he realized once the movie came out, the shit was fucked up and it wasn't received well. Um, and then, like I said, the, the, the Joss Whedon stuff is like, and like, I, <laughs> It's hard because as a Joss Whedon fan, 
Like I, you, you can't really talk about your fandom now. And I, and I follow this guy on YouTube and he makes videos and he's made his whole YouTube career based off of like Buffy and Angel videos and like these deep dissections of these, of those shows. And he's just kind of like, uh, I don't know what to do here. Like, you know, like, okay, I, I don't like the fact that I don't like the fact of what he did, but like, I have to be a supporter of what he made. And, you know, my, my videos don't make him anything. So like, apparently I can keep doing this. Like, it's just really weird. And that dude, that dude built up, up, up his YouTube in order to, and, and he was able to quit his job based off of these long form Buffy and Angel videos. Hmm. And now his job is in jeopardy because Joss Whedon is a dick. So, yeah, I, I think I, I, you know what? I want I want to see the movie to see what's different. I've never I've never been like super deep into DC in the first place, um, like because I don't relate to gods. I relate to normal people with powers a little bit more. And people with with like yeah, I got these powers, but I but I got issues. Like you know what I mean like. Thor is a god, but like he has emotional issues now. Like shit's fucking happened. You know what I mean? Like I relate to that. I relate to the emotional issues way more than I I relate to how this dude survives because he's a super fucking alien from another planet trying to figure out how to survive here. Yeah, because like after watching the uh, MCU over again and getting up ready for WandaVision and all that, which we still haven't finished, but um. I really like Iron Man 3 because it does deal with that stuff and I'm like it's really cool but when you're watching it as it's coming out and also there's a new Iron Man movie and it's about Iron Man you know having a nervous breakdown you're like what is this shit but when you're watching it as a whole you're like yes this is awesome <laughs> because you saw where it led uh, and like the idea of like when you when you rewatch the Marvel movies and you saw exactly where he stood from the beginning and where he ended up, it's amazing. And like all of this stuff was right in front of you this whole time, but they, they rolled it out so slowly that it be, it, it became more awesome on a rewatch. Dark world. Still boring there. Yes. I think the dark world is the most unnecessary of the movies. Loki is the only good part about that movie. Like literally the only good part about that movie, everything in that movie fucking sucked. Except Loki. You could say that he's Loki, the only good part about that movie. All right, good night, everybody. <laughs> I appreciate y'all listening to Scarcasm. Um, uh, yeah, we're out of here. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so you got anything else? Um, I, you know, a bunch of stuff is happening. Um, all of that royal family shit is just kind of fucking weird. I've, I haven't waded into that stuff at all because I don't give a fuck about the royal family. I give no fucks about the royal family. Like they don't do anything. They're not. They don't even govern. Why do we care so much about the royal family? I don't understand it. It makes zero fucking sense to me. Why do we care? They're basically like, like human statues. Yes. They're like a statue of the past, but they're living people. <laughs> Yeah, it's so weird, and I don't understand it at all. But, like, all right, do you? Like, you give a fuck about what Meghan Markle said or not? I don't fucking care. Like, that shit makes no fucking difference to me at all. <laughs> so you fucking have that shit. Um, anything else? No, man. Ain't we good? Okay. Well, uh, to the people, thank you very much for checking your boys out. Uh, we appreciate you um, letting us in your ear holes and um, it feels warm in here. Thank you. Um, because it's been cold. Last week was cold and like, you know, it feels it feels good being somewhere warm. Yeah. We appreciate that. It's been um, like stupid cold to where it's like not even fun. <laughs> you know, like it's right. not like there's no uh, you know, snow days or anything like that. It's just cold and wet. Yeah, snow days are a thing of the past. There's never going to be another snow day. Yeah. Because they already know how they can teach teach you at home. Yeah. So, fuck a snow day. It's, uh, it's over. <laughs> All right, man. 
All right. So again, thank you to the people. I really appreciate y'all. And uh, we'll be back in, in another, what, two weeks? Two weeks uh, for some more stuff. Hopefully I have better. Yeah, the, uh, the March is almost over. So we need to get this August, um, April or whatnot. Remember, remember we were trying to do something for April? Oh yeah, we should do that. Yeah, and I'd, I'd really like to get Fred back on because maybe he can give me a little bit more insight on why I should like HDR. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> We're not. I'm, I'm down. Um, yeah, we'll put the call out. Um, yeah, it's really getting to that time, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. So we'll put the word out and see what's going on with everybody. And yeah. Um, we can get that done. Oh, it says start. It says start. Oh no, it says start streaming. Oh my gosh. I thought it says start recording. I was like, oh, stop recording. It says start streaming. That freaked me out for a second. I was like, holy shit, I didn't record that whole thing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Because I didn't want to do that shit again. Um, so. I'm uh, winded. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, we're out of here. Peace out to the Warriors. All right, later. I like that shit, yeah, boy. I'm telling you, woke. I'm telling. All right, I ain't gonna talk.